Hi, Dr. Hagmeyer here again. And in the last video, we talked about uh, some of the different things that stress out your adrenals and ultimately go on to affect thyroid performance. In today's video, I wanna share some more great information. I wanna share something with you that I see in practice every single day. Uh, it's becoming an epidemic and will ultimately uh, have just a massive impact on things like your energy, your mood, your concentration, sleep, and even your male and female hormones at some point in time. Today we talked about, um, today we're gonna be talking about hypoglycemia and insulin resistance. And these are problems that relate to your blood sugar. And by correcting these, you can regain that bounce in your step, you can lose weight, and best of all, this can all be done naturally. And you can feel really, really good again if you get these under control. But if you never get your blood sugar under control, you can forget about improving your adrenals and you can forget about improving the performance and, and restoring health and function back to your thyroid. So when it comes to supporting the adrenals, you have to understand that number one is that diet rules here. When it comes to blood sugar control, there are two very common problems that exist. And often they can exist at the same time and they can exist, uh, uh, you know, one another. The first is hypoglycemia and the second is insulin resistance. And so let's talk a little bit about these. Hypoglycemia refers to a state of low blood sugar or states in which the blood sugar will either spike up throughout the day and then spike down throughout the day. And this goes on throughout the entire course of the day. Hypoglycemics often suffer from low energy. Uh, they'll have brain fog, they'll have irritability because the body is not being supplied with steady states of glucose or sugar. Your body really needs glucose. The cells of your body need glucose uh, for energy. And if they don't get the proper amounts of glucose, they can't convert the glucose into energy. And so this is a major problem. And so what happens with hypoglycemics is that their blood sugar levels become erratic. How do you know this is happening to you? Well, typically, most people that are hypoglycemic are gonna typically feel tired and run down and fatigued at certain times of the day. And typically, they're gonna be more fatigued and brain fog at the times that are most associated with uh, around that 10 o'clock a.m. period of time, that 12 p.m., the 2 p.m. period of time, and then again at 4 p.m. And if this is you, if, then you're finding yourself more, more fatigued, more irritable, uh, just a lack of energy, you just feel like you have to take a nap at these times of day, then most likely you're having a problem with your blood sugar. Now, poorly managed hypoglycemic, uh, hypoglycemia often ends up in adrenal exhaustion because again, every time your blood sugar drops, your adrenals are gonna be called into play and over time, you're gonna wear them out, okay? And these are just one of the, the types of stressors that we talked about in the last video. Now, hypoglycemics are those people who often find themselves irritable before meals. They may also get shaky before, uh, before these meals. They may get lightheaded. They may have some increased brain fog, maybe some memory issues. And this is especially true when meals are missed. And hypoglycemics are gonna typically find themselves feeling much better after they eat. Now, there's another type of, of blood sugar problem that can exist. Uh, this can, again, have a massive impact on your thyroid gland. And this is called insulin resistance, okay? This is a, a state that we often see uh, leading to diabetes. So this is pre-diabetes. Now, with insulin resistance, this is a pattern where your insulin receptor sites are no longer responding to insulin. Now, when someone has become insulin resistant, glucose can't get into the cells and consequently, the blood sugar levels begin to rise, right? If they can't get into the cell, over time, you're gonna have this blood sugar that continues to, to build up in, in, the, in the blood itself. And then eventually, we're gonna be able to measure that and we'd see elevated blood sugar levels. Now, the longer you remain insulin resistant, okay, the more you have this blood sugar that can't get swept into the cells, you're gonna eventually go on to cause the beta cells of the pancreas to become damaged. And then eventually when the beta cells become damaged, you become diabetic. Now, along with that, you'll also develop all sorts of problems with things like cholesterol levels and fat metabolism. The good news again here is that you can correct this, but in most cases, it's gonna take some time and it's gonna take uh, obviously some, some dedication uh, towards making those changes and, 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 and you know following a good diet. So remember, any kind of sugar imbalance needs to be corrected before you can ever have good healthy adrenal health and good healthy thyroid performance. Well, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. I hope you enjoyed today's video, help you understand a little bit more about hypoglycemia, insulin resistance, and how both of those conditions affect the thyroid and how, of course, those things can lead to hormonal imbalances and just many of the symptoms associated with thyroid problems. Take care.